Hey, welcome everyone. Let's analyze our results. So this is the entire distribution of the number of candidates who have given the FRM exam. So they have divided this distribution in quartiles. Okay, so quartile means to divide the entire distribution into four equal parts. So this is the first quarter. This is the second quarter. This is the third quarter and this is the fourth quarter. Also, they have given the results in percentiles. So this is the first percentile and this is the hundredth percentile. So this is the entire distribution. Over here, we have the 50th percentile in the middle. This is a median and this is the 25th percentile and this is the 75th percentile okay now we'll check in the other slides what these different percentiles mean so if you see something like this on the result then this is the first percentile this is the hundred percentile this means that you are here from 75th percentile to 100 percentile and this reflects a strong understanding of the particular subject okay so this is a most preferred that means you are in the top 75th percentile 200 percentile candidates okay so you are in the top zone out here if you see something like this that means that you are in the so you are from 50th percentile to the 75th percentile and this also reflects a good understanding of the subject okay so that means you are in this zone in the second quartile all right just below the first quartile okay and if you see something like this on the result then you are here from 25th percentile to 50th percentile and this reflects a fair understanding of the particular subject and if you see here something as this then this reflects that you are in the least preferred zone and this reflects a poor understanding of the subject so now if you already have the results you can see for yourself what is your strong area and what areas you need to focus on and for candidates who will be appearing in the upcoming frm exams your target should be getting this first quartile right here this should be your ideal benchmark don't get into different permutations and combinations of all the different quartiles for each subject rather just focus on getting first quartile in all the four books that you have and if the target is high even if you miss few questions you will still land in quartile two okay still the chances of passing the exam would be much much higher now since the frm exam is conducted in many days what i have here is an example of an easy paper and a difficult paper right here this is a hypothetical example that i'm taking so that you understand how the percentiles are actually calculated and you have a view of what should be your target so let's say that the target is it's around 50 questions getting right on the exam now let's say that on a particular day the exam came very difficult what i've done here is that i've created this distribution of of the difficult exam wherein the highest person who scored in this exam was 71 just to let you know the person on the exam who scored the highest will have 100th percentile right here all right and the person who scored the least which is 30 in our example they'll be in the first percentile right here but talking about the quartiles this is the first quartile this is the second then there is third and then there is fourth quartile this is the least preferred zone right here and also just to let you know this is just an example that i'm taking okay all these numbers are made up they are hypothetical they are not actual numbers okay this is just to clarify so that you understand how percentiles are actually calculated and at the same time if you assume a particular score which in our example we have assumed it as 50 questions getting right on the exam continuing with that so let's say 50 will come in this quartile too but definitely there's a higher chance to pass the exam if the paper is difficult and you have this kind of a score on the other hand let's talk about an easy exam and under this situation this is the first quartile this is the second 
this is the third and this is the fourth quartile and the person who scored highest which is 84 in our hypothetical example the paper was easy so it's easy for everyone right so the most of people might have scored high now this 84 the person who scored the highest will have a hundred percentile and the person who scored the least will have the first percentile will be in this particular category now if the paper was easy your 50 score will fall under either this particular quartile or perhaps in this particular quartile so the chances of passing with this kind of an approach is very low if the paper is easy on a given day all right so the entire point is that you understand how percentiles are actually calculated the person who scored the highest will have 100 percentile and then it will just flow down to the first percentile to the person who scored the least and at the same time you now have a visual view as to if you assume a particular score you can see for yourself where you fall in these buckets right here okay so don't have a minimum score of just 50 percent raise the bar target it around 70 percent all right this is the ideal benchmark and you should always have your target high definitely even if paper comes easy you will still have a great chance to pass the exam all right so that's it thank you so much for your time hope